Amateur astronomers have discovered an object hurtling through the Milky Way at lightning speed. Looking for a hypothetical ninth planet in our solar system, amateur astronomers have spotted an object with the mass of a small star hurtling through the galaxy at about 1.6 million kilometers per hour. The object was spotted as part of Backyard Worlds, Planet 9, a NASA-led project that encourages astronomy enthusiasts to search for unknown objects at the edge of our solar system and beyond. The Backyard Worlds, Planet 9 project involves watching short videos that have been assembled from images taken by the Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer WISE, spacecraft, which operated between 2009 and 2011. It was reactivated as NEO-WISE, Near-Earth Object Wide Field Infrared Survey Explorer, in 2013 and retired in August 2024. The aim of the project is to review millions of short animations of a small patch of sky. Participants are asked to look for changes in the images. If the discovery is confirmed, they can count on a mention in the press and become CO authors of a scientific publication. It was as part of Backyard Worlds, Planet 9 that amateur astronomers Martin Kabatnik, Thomas P. Bickle, and Dan Castleton spotted a faint, fast-moving object called Quise J124909.08 plus 362116.0. Further observations with several ground-based telescopes helped NASA scientists confirm the discovery and characterize the object. The results and description of the discovery were published in the Astrophysical Journal Letters. Most known stars orbit quietly around the center of the Milky Way. But the newly discovered object is different. It's moving so fast that one day it will break free from the Milky Way's gravitational grip and shoot out into intergalactic space. I can't describe the excitement, said Kavatnik from Nuremberg, Germany. When I first saw it moving so fast, I was convinced it had already been reported. He added. Quise J124909.08 plus 362116.0 is moving away from the Milky Way at about 1.6 million kilometers per hour. The object is either a brown dwarf or a very low mass star. Brown dwarfs are star like objects that are too low in mass to undergo reactions that convert hydrogen into helium. These reactions are the main source of energy for stars. Brown dwarfs are common objects. More than 4,000 have been discovered by the Backyard Worlds, Planet 9 project. But none of them are hurtling through the galaxy. Quise J124909.08 plus 362116.0 has another unique feature. Data from the WM Keck Observatory in Mount Akea, Hawaii, show that it has significantly less iron and other metals than other stars and brown dwarfs. This unusual composition suggests that this object is old, and likely from one of the first generations of stars in our galaxy. Why is this object moving so fast? One theory is that Quise J124909.08 plus 362116.0 originally came from a binary system that also included a white dwarf. As a result of stealing material from Quise J124909.08 plus 362116.0, the white dwarf exploded as a supernova, ejecting the newly discovered object. Another possibility is that it came from a tightly bound group of stars called a globular cluster, and a chance encounter with a pair of black holes caused it to be ejected from the cluster at high speed. Scientists plan to take a closer look at Quise J124909.08 plus 362116.0, focusing on its chemical composition to find clues as to which of these scenarios is more likely. Hydrogel learned to play Pong. 
British scientists have developed a hydrogel that learned to play a simple 1970s game. Huh. What's more, this spongy blob improved its performance over time. Even simple materials such as hydrogels can adapt to their environment in a way similar to what is observed in living systems. This has been demonstrated by research led by Dr. Yoshikatsu Hayashi's team from the University of Reading, in which scientists connected a hydrogel to electrodes and taught it to play Pong. Pong is a classic video game that is a very simple simulation of table tennis. The results and description of the research were published in the journal Cell Reports Physical Science. Scientists from the University of Reading have developed a simple hydrogel, a type of soft, flexible material that can learn to play a simple computer game from the 1970s. What's more, when connected to a computer simulation of the classic game using a specially built multi-electrode array, it showed an improvement in its performance over time. The researchers drew inspiration from work from two years ago, in which Australian researchers taught a group of human and mouse brain cells to play the classic video game. Our research shows that even very simple materials can exhibit complex, adaptive behaviors, usually associated with living systems or advanced artificial intelligence. This opens up exciting possibilities for developing new types of smart materials that can learn and adapt to their environment, Hayashi said. The researchers believe that the learning results from the movement of charged particles within the hydrogel in response to electrical stimulation, creating a form of memory within the material itself. Ionic hydrogels can achieve the same kind of memory mechanics as more complex neural networks. We've shown that hydrogels can not only play pong, but can get better at it over time, said CO author Vincent Strong of the University of Reading. These results show that synthetic materials can use a basic form of memory to boost performance. The system demonstrates memory in much the same way that a riverbed captures the memory of a river, said Brett Kagan of Cortical Labs in Melbourne, Australia lead author of a two-year-old study showing that brain cells in a dish can learn to play pong if they are electrically stimulated in a way that provides them with feedback on their performance. Hayashi and his colleagues focused on gelatinous materials, or hydrogels. They contain charged molecules called ions. When a type of hydrogel is electrically stimulated, the ions move through the material and drag water molecules with them, causing the hydrogel to change shape. Our work addresses the question of whether simple, artificial systems can compute closed loops similar to the feedback loops that allow our brains to control our bodies. The basic idea behind both neurons and hydrogels is that ion migration and distribution can act as a memory function which could correlate with sensory motor loops in the world of Pong. In neurons, ions move inside cells. In gels, they move outside cells, Ayashi said. To see if this memory could enable a hydrogel to play Pong, the researchers used electrodes to connect the material to the game. The game was divided into six sections, which corresponded to six pairs of electrodes. Each time a ball moved through one of the squares, the corresponding electrodes sent an electrical signal to the hydrogel, causing the ions to change position. The sensing electrodes then measured the electrical current of the rearranged ions and fed that information back to the computer, which interpreted it as a command to move the paddle to a new position. Over time, this created a basic memory because the ions' movement depended on their previous rearrangements. At first, the hydrogel only hit the ball about half the time, but it increased its hit rate to 60% in about 24 minutes, suggesting that the material is updating its memory of the ball's motion using the pattern of ions. 
The improved performance also resulted in longer rallies periods of time when the ball was in play. The researchers conducted control experiments that involved feeding the hydrogel the wrong information about the ball's position or making it act blindly by not stimulating it. This meant that the position of the ions in the gel did not accurately reflect the play on the screen. The hydrogel showed no signs of improvement under these conditions, suggesting that it only improves when given the correct information. The authors of the paper argue that hydrogels represent a different kind of intelligence than most existing AI algorithms derived from neural networks. They could be used to develop new, simpler algorithms. In the future, the researchers plan to further investigate the hydrogel's memory, analyzing the mechanisms behind it and testing its ability to perform other tasks. E